Hey, sixth grade. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sixth grade, this is your math lesson for Tuesday, April the 28th. On Tuesday, you will be taking Math Test 16. I will put out just a short reminder Tuesday morning, giving any kind of instructions that you need to, uh, to know for the test. This lesson is primarily to look at lesson 161, which is then due on Wednesday. All right, 161 is due on Wednesday. And this is division of compound measures. And today we're going to review, we're going to look at division of compound measures, and then we're going to review adding, subtracting, and multiplying compound measures. So this lesson is basically going to be a review of and division of compound measures. Compound measures means that you are working with two different labels. Okay? Two labels that are related. Okay? You're not going to have 23 bushels, 5 miles, or anything ridiculous like this. This is always going to be something that is related to each other, bushels and pecks. So 23 bushels, 3 pecks, that's your compound measure, two, two labels. 23 bushels, 3 pecks, divided by 7. All right, start out by dividing the bushel by itself, okay? 7 into 23 goes how many times? 3 times, right? 3 times 7, 21. Subtract. 3 minus 1 is 2. You have 2 bushels left, right? Turn the bushels into your small. Convert your large label into small label. So 2 bushels equals how many pecks? Two bushels equals four, four bushels in a pack, right? Or four pecks in a bushel. So two bushel is two times four, which is eight. This becomes eight peck. So two bushel becomes eight pecks, right? Add that, add. Now you have what? 11 pecs. Now this is the number, the 11 pecs, is what you're, you're done with bushels. Put your bushel label up there. Once you have a number up there, you can put your bushels. Now you're dividing 11 pecs divided by 7. So you're going 7 into 11. Don't get confused by all this in here, but this is the number that you're now dividing. 7 into 11 is what? One, right? Yes, seven into eleven is one times seven is seven. Remember, it's this number we're working with. Eleven minus seven is how many pecs left over? Eleven minus seven is four. So you're going to have 1 and 4 over 7 pecs. All right? Check that out. It's not that horribly complicated as long as you keep the steps. 23 bushel divided by 7 is 3. Once you have the right, once you have a number up there, you can put bushels there because the remainder is not going up there. So this is 3 bushel. You have the remainder of two bushels. Turn the two bushels into pecs. Two bushels equals eight pecs because there are four pecs in a bushel, right? So eight pecs. Add the pecs up that you have. Eight plus three is 11. And then that is the number that is being divided by seven. Seven into 11. One times seven. 11 minus 7, your remainder is 4. If you have a remainder, make it a fraction. 3 bushel, 1 and 4 seventh pecs. All right? Do the same thing over here. 6 miles, 2,705 feet, divided by 5. All right? 5 into 6 miles is what? 1, and you can put the miles up there, why? 1 mile. 1 times 5, 
6 minus 5, you have one mile left. Okay, you don't have to do all this, these labels and stuff, but this is just to show you to keep stuff track. So you have one mile left. Turn the one mile into feet. How many feet per mile? 5,000 plus 5,280. Okay, your one mile became 5,280 feet. Add that. Five, eight, nine, seven. Seven thousand nine hundred eighty-five. That's feet divided by. Whoops, sorry. Five divided by five. So you're going five into seven. Okay. Don't get confused again. This is the number that's being divided. Five into seven. Put it up here. 1 times 5, right? 7 minus 5 is 2. Bring the 9 down. Yes. Bring the 9 down. 29 divided by 5 is 5 times 5 is 25. 4, 48. I'll run out of space almost. 5 into 48 is what? 9. 45. Subtract. 8 minus 5 is 3. Bring the 5 down. 35 divided by 5 is 7. That comes out evenly. So then your answer is 1 mile, 5,000. One, one mile, 1,597 feet, okay? Big unit divided by this, one mile. The remainder of your big unit is miles. Turn that into feet and add it to the feet that you already have. And then divide that sum of those two by five, okay? And that will be how many of the small unit you have, feet. Right, check those out a little bit. Please come back and look at this. Come back and look at this video if you're not sure how to do it. Go back and look at that lesson if you're not sure how to do it, all right? Don't lose focus. You're in the last week, I was gonna tell you this in your language video, don't lose focus. You're in the last week of language. We're almost in the last week of school, okay? Focus. Some of you are losing focus. Some of you partly because you're just at home and I understand that. Okay? But don't. Especially on your tests and quizzes, people, and on your assignments that are graded. You need to go back over them and check. Alright? Check them. I tell you which ones are going to be graded. So check them purposely, especially. Make sure that they are done well so that you can have a good grade in the end. Alright? So focus. Okay? I know this hasn't been fun, just being at home, not seeing friends, uh, depends how picky you are with the stay at home order or the, yeah, not socializing. Uh, we haven't been at grandpa's for quite some time and that's wearing on all of us, Ellie, and uh, she doesn't understand, I mean, she understands why we can't go, but she still wants to, right? All right, so focus people, okay? You can do this. Get through this last week. Give me great grades at the end of the week. Uh, when you're doing tests and quizzes, please make sure you're doing everything. Okay? Don't skip sections, follow directions, uh, get those good grades in. All right, we're going to look at addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Of uh, compound measures as well. Let's do that quickly. Done with you. All right, let me put a multiplication one up. You can start working on it, and I'll put an addition one beside it. 12 pounds, 7 ounces. times eight. All right, work on that. 12 
pounds, seven ounces times eight. Eight ton, 350 pounds. Use a different color. Don't forget what you're doing when you're doing these. Adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. 50 pounds plus 3 ton. Oh, that's a subtraction. Well, let's do the multiplication one first. I mean, the additional one first because it's similar to multiplication. 15 packs, 6 quarts, sorry. Fifteen packs six quarts plus three packs two quarts. Wow. Messed myself up while I was doing it. It's alright, this will work. Alright. The multiplication one. Multiply each one of these separately, okay? 7 ounces times 8 is 56 ounces. 8 times 12 is 96 pounds. When you're multiplying, divide the small unit, the small unit that you get, divide the small unit by how many of the small units are in one of the large units. So in this case, you're asking how many ounces in one pound? How many ounces in one pound? Divide 56, <coughs> 56, no, it's come out here, come somewhere where we can see better now. All right, 56 divided by 16 ounces per pound, right? You do the math, that is going to be 348. Your remainder, this, your divisor is pounds. Okay? And your remainder is going to be ounces. So don't make a fraction. Three pounds, you're going to add that plus three pounds. And your remainder is going to be the ounces. Okay, so you're going to have, well, let's just get the remainder. This us. The remainder is going to be eight. And that's going to be ounces. This is going to be pounds. Let's just write that up here. Three pounds, eight ounces. Add the three pounds here. 96 plus three is 99 pounds. Eight ounces, and that's you don't add that. Okay, you're done with this now, and all you have left is eight ounces. Ninety-nine pounds, eight ounces, not eighty z's. Make sure you know that that is eight ounces and not eighty z's, right? Okay. Multiply them separately. Divide the small unit by how many of them go in one of the big units. 56 divided by 16 ounces per pound. Three pounds, eight ounces. Add the three pounds and your eight ounces is the answer. <clears throat> Addition is very similar. In fact, they teach you to do it exactly the same way. The thing of it is here, and let me show you. Let's just add again, add separately. Six plus two is eight quarts, all right? 15 packs plus 3 packs, 15 plus 3 is 18 packs, all right? In addition, there is never going to be more than, there's never going to be two quarts or two packs left over in the quarts, okay? 
because you never say 15 packs, 10 quarts, okay? If you'd have 10 quarts, that means you'd have 16 packs, two quarts. So in addition, if you subtract how many quarts in a pack, if you subtract how many <laughs> quarts are in one pack and add that and add one, okay? So subtract eight minus eight gives you zero quarts left over. You took one quart away, add the one, I mean one peck, plus one peck, and your answer is 19 pecks. Okay, what, they, what they're doing here is, again, you divide quarts by how many quarts in a peck, okay? So it's eight divided by eight is one. Or when you're, when you're adding, if you subtract, how many of the small unit in one of them, you'll get the same thing, okay? You have zero, you have one, you, this is one. Okay, you're subtracting eight quarts by one pack, which is eight quarts, and adding that on. I shouldn't even do that to you. Should just do this quickly. So this is eight quarts divided by how many quarts in a pack, one, Going to come out evenly. Add the one peck up the peck. Add that on, and you got. Sorry for the confusion there. Uh, if you get what I'm saying, there, I just don't. I don't want you to be totally confused by that. Okay. Now let's do a subtraction yet, and then I will let you go. Okay. Let's of compound measures, seven, eight tons, 350 pounds, <clears throat> eight ton, 350 pounds, minus three tons, 1,000 pounds, all right? Now we of course have this dilemma of that Eight tons, 350 pounds is larger than three tons, 1,000 pounds. But we have this 350 minus 1,000, which we cannot do. 350 minus 1,000. So you borrow one of the tons. You borrow one ton, right? You borrow one ton. You add the ton onto the pound. So turn one ton. So you're adding... 2,000 pounds per one ton, right? This becomes seven, don't forget, it becomes a seven. Add 2,000, so now we have 2,350, right? Minus 1,000. 2,350 minus 1,000 gives you 1,350 pounds. You borrowed one, seven minus three, four tons. 1,350 pounds, okay? Borrow one ton. Borrow one, borrow one ton worth of pounds. Add it on, make sure you borrowed, take, make that one less, add 2,000 pounds, and then subtract. All right, so, uh, sixth grade, have a good week. I will remind you of your test on Tuesday morning.